Welcome back, heroes, to some more Pokemon Bizarre. Last episode, we did a bunch of side quests, and they were <laughs> pretty bizarre. Like, we met the King of the River, which was like, <laughs> like, just a Magikarp head in like a human body. Did some, um, did some tasks for him. Uh, we had to fight some artillery that was very, very difficult. Uh, we got a, we caught the Gumi that was in the mansion where the artillery were. We also got a mysterious egg, which uh, hopefully it will hatch, um, this episode, we'll see, but it looks like it's gonna be a long time. But uh, yeah, we're now gonna head to the bar and we'll make our way to Temptation Town and then maybe get the eighth gym badge day or maybe some other side quest, we'll see. But Voltsy, you're here. You got the badge, didn't you? I did, come and sit down. All right. Well, how do you feel about getting your seventh badge, kid? Uh, all they have to do now is beat their old man. <laughs> yeah, it feels weird, you know? I guess they're getting older. Hey, hey uh, Trudy, don't overdo, D don't overdo it. You're still in your prime. <laughs> By the way, you saw Joshua, didn't you? That's right, we told him that we would wait for him at the station so we could all go together on the train. So I wonder how he's doing. He seemed a bit discouraged lately. He's always so worried about being compared to Johnny. Really? His brother is a member of the Elite Four. Perhaps he's being too hard on himself. By the way, Voltsy, don't worry if you can't reach my level. <laughs> uh, uh, but you're not cut out for battles anymore. Hey, you're the same age as me. Yeah, but I'm um, the nice single cool guy. And you're the responsible, boring dad. Isn't that right, Voltsy? <laughs> hey, I'm not boring at all. Well, shall we head to the station? Yeah, I've already had enough beers. Well, Voltsy, we'll wait for you at the station. All right, well, we got to wait for Joshua first. We should have no trouble beating Shug. All right, so there's the station. Okay, give me four tickets then. The others will be here soon. Okay, we're all here, aren't we? Let's go find at Parlo. Uh, Joshua's not here. Well, well, well. Seems like we're missing one. Joshua's missing, right? Looks like we we'll have to leave without all. Oh. Don't leave without me! <laughs> Let's talk about uh, King of Rome. <laughs> what is Rome? That, that doesn't matter. Well, Joshua, how are you doing? Good, good. Uh, that guy was tough, but nothing stands in the way of a uh, Josephson's fury. And now I'm coming for you. You're already closer to kicking my brother's ass. Well, well, Joshua's that's the spirit. <laughs> I like Trudy's laugh, but calm down. Just don't get obsessed, okay? Uh, but no, I I'm good, don't worry. Okay, okay, enough arguing. Are we boarding or what? No, wait, Parlo. The other times you saw me fight, I lost against Voltsy. Voltsy, give me one last chance. This time, I'm really going to take you apart. You're going down. <laughs> you don't give up, huh? Come on, Voltsy. Uh, you can't back out now. Come on, one fight, and then we'll ride. Uh, I'm not sure if the train will wait for us, but sh show Joshua that you're, you're my son. Let's go! I've been practicing my deadly techniques together with my Pokemon. This battle's ours. Okay. I mean, I think I should... I think I should be fine. Alright, Aria Dos, so we will... Uh, let's... Let's switch you out. And the Galisco, okay, that's good. Ideally, I want to go for Ice Beam here, but... Wait, I think Ledian has Ice Punch now. So, yes. That'll be good. Whee! Let's go, Ledian. Crobat. Uh... I think I, I don't think I'll have Speed you, to be honest. Nah, if I got that Ice Punch off, that would've been nice. Uh, let's go Accordion. Hyper voice, like my having my A team on me because of some floors in the box and our crowbats in the box, and I can't hit you with an uproar. I don't think overdrive will do too much damage either. Oh, it sound. Oh, sound. I, I forgot overdrive is part like the sound based move, isn't it? Ah, okay, this is just not a good matchup for us. We've got to switch. That sucks. Right, flamethrower it is then. And you're gonna flinch me. Great, don't flinch me again. And you flinch me again. Great. This fight is not going too well. I think it's just the Crobat. Get rid of the Crobat and we should be fine. But, critical hit. That sucks. Just don't crit me and don't flinch me. That's all I ask. I mean, yeah, that's, that's, that's the best outcome right there. You're missing. Oh, oh, oh. Flamethrower. Oh, flamethrower. I have four restore. We'll keep going flamethrower. We should be fine as long as we don't get flinched. Ah, oh, so annoying, dude. I bet you're gonna full restore again, aren't you? Okay. Flamethrower, just. 
get the burn, that'd be sick. At least it's not as bad as when we battled Samira. And she had that wub effect that just would not die. Oh my god. <laughs> I wouldn't, no, the, the fact it wouldn't die, it's the fact we couldn't hit it. That's just super annoying. Let's go Cosmo then, and we'll just Thunderbolt you. I think we can probably one-shot you. Nice! Okay, uh, Toxic Croak. We'll just... I think I have to go for Thunderbolt, won't I? In case you've got dry skin. That's fine, it's fine. Uh... Gordon, if you can outspeed, that'd be fine. No, you can't. Okay, we're looking a little bad. Just a little bad. Spirit Tomb, you got this? Just flame forward. Oh, okay. Uh, this is energy root, get full HP. No sucker punch for you. And of course you get the poison. Okay, if I was a little bit more difficult than I thought, but if I had my A-team, everything's good. Ouch, hey, sucker punch. Is that it? Last one? Hey! I lost again? It's very frustrating. I don't know what to do. I want to go home and, I don't know, train Mr. Robinson until he croaks or something like that. <laughs> Relax, Joshua, you did great. You already have seven badges. You can't back out now. <sighs> okay, okay. Sorry, Faulty, I'm a bit of an idiot. Come on, come on, let's get going. I'm tired of standing here. Let's go! Alright. Uh. Yeah, I probably should get healed up first and then we'll go. Just in case we can't heal on the train and we get into some fights. I mean, it, it's a big train, so I'm assuming something's gonna happen, surely. Like, if we look at the, uh, the maps, like a big part of it. Or it might just be a train and we just instantly arrive at Temptation Town. If we look at the map, uh, map. Yeah, see, this is massive. So I'm sure something's surely got to happen on the train. Let's go. Chapter 10, BB. Summer of 68. Oh, he's got accordion. We'll show him our ones better. Well, let's see. A bit a while before we get there, so you'll have your own room to hang out in. Our own room? Yeah, yours is 04. I think it should be in this car. We're in 02. Uh, we'll be there for now. Uh, do you see this place? It's amazing. Come to hit the buffet. You guys should enjoy the atmosphere. Relax. Right in the Monetary Express is like therapy. <laughs> well, let's go see our room, shall we? Let's go. All right, Volti, let's find our room. This is this one is five, so ours will be around here. Oh, this sofa is so comfortable. I don't want to get back to work. Just gonna go explore first. Maybe I should just head back to. We'll head to our room, then we explore. Might be the smarter idea. Unlucky camera up. You're not gonna stand a chance against me. Conkled uh, Um, let's go Thunderbolt. Should be fine. Another Thunderbolt. Oh, one more. Easy. Can we get 67? Close. Alright, so number four. Oh, guess we get healed up here. Nice, nice, nice. It's good to know. Alright, uh, okay, this is 04. Let's head in. You know, that's, that's one thing I've always wanted to do. I've always wanted to go on like a... A long train journey, one that takes like a couple of days and like once you have like a little cabin to sleep in. I don't know, I think that'd be really fun. Can we get this whole room just for just for a train ride? My goodness. They're going a little overboard uh, for just a train. Hey, these sofas aren't bad either. Your father doesn't cut corners when it comes to spending, huh? Uh, attention, we inform all passengers that the Monetary Express is about to start its journey. Please do not attempt to exit the moving train. Enjoy this wonderful trip. Watch out, it's starting. So we're almost at the end of our journey. Hmm. So what are you going to do after this? I mean, what will we do when this adventure is over? It's going back to playing FIFA. <laughs> it's been a given it, I've been giving it some thought, actually. At first I wanted to become like my brother, but now it's not so clear to me. I think I should find my own path, don't you think? I'm definitely great at battles, don't get me wrong. I've turbo kicked a lot of people along the way. 
I don't know if it gives me the tingle I'm looking for. You know what I mean? Right? Well, let's see what's on the train. This room is nice and all, but being in here is such a drag. It's time for a little adventure. Okay. Check the trash, nothing there. Let's go check out all the rooms. So we'll start by checking out room number five. Hey, oh. They let me put my weight training equipment in the wagon. What a great service. Now I'll be able to move my pegs to the rhythm of the train's rattle. Look, look, boom, boom. <laughs> oh. No, like Galarian Zigzagoon plush there. I think it's a plush. Oh, yeah, can't leave the train. <laughs> Can you imagine? All right, let's go check this out. Uh... This room seems to be empty right now. Guess we'll be back later. Still there stuff. <laughs> uh, let's go check out the right side. Is that Samira? Something suspicious seems to be poking out the box. Well, it's just probably some train cargo. It's neither here nor there for me to snoop around. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, man. Alright, let's go and check out the other room, shall we? Uh, yo! Hey! So, where do you think we'll go now? I don't know. Now that we've snuck in this, it's a bit boring. No way! Let's wait a little while until no one notices and then let's go see the driver. Well, okay, if you say so. I'm gonna snitch. Hello, this is our bar. If you want a drink, you talk to my partner at the bar. Okay. Hey, on this train, I don't have much to fix. So, what do you say we have a fight? Okay! Sounds good! Down for a fight? Like you can hear the uh, the train in the background. It's pretty cool. All right, let's keep scolding. Easy. This like new item we got last episode as well is pretty badass. It's like, oh, I went for Thunderbolt. Didn't mean to do that. It's fine. It's fine. And to switch us both out. Oh yeah, the new item we got is like basically water leftovers, but also powers our water moves. So uh, it's pretty banging. It's pretty banging. Zap cannon. Uh, nah. I'd miss. <laughs> uh, clink clang. We got spirit tomb. Just go for that flame thrower. Oh, nice. easy. Uh, talk to you two. Hey, what's a strong guy like you doing on this train? Oh, I can train my friends to the rhythm of the rattling train. Vroom, vroom, vroom. I can flex my biceps. Vroom, vroom, vroom and do chest exercises. With constant rhythm, I get empowered. Um, what? Well, that's interesting. <laughs> Look, drunken nonsense. You should go get a drink. Uh, the rattling of the train is making me dizzy. Can you help me clear my head with poker brisker? No, I'm good. Uh, can I get a drink? Let's get a couple of lemonades. We have so much money in this game as well. But guard duty on this train is a hassle. People who come here are very wealthy and never cause any problems. That's why I think I can give myself a little break. Nothing will happen, right? Oh, something's gonna happen 100%. But on top of that, I get <laughs> I get paid. It's all the perfect plan. Until something happens and then you're, uh, yeah. Drinking on the job and then you get fired, so... Look out for that. So what's wrong with you? What are you looking at? What are you doing entering other people's cabins? Didn't anyone ever teach you manners? Nope. Go before I have to hit you with my rod. Kids these days, ugh. <laughs> uh, do you want to fight? Uh, I don't understand anything anymore. What's wrong with you? Uh, you see? I just saw a man at least four meters tall pass through this car. And I thought I was tall. How am I supposed to compete against four meter people in basketball? My career is ruined. Unlucky. Uh, oh, here you go. How about we go to the bar for a while and pass the time there? Hm, sure, sure. A good beer will surely make the trip more enjoyable. Oh, you're here. What's up? Are you taking a walk? We're on our way to the bar. So where did you leave Joshua? He's already messing around, isn't he? Well, we have nothing to do here. Don't cause too much trouble. If you break something, I'll end up having to pay for it. Bummer. That's the, uh, the benefits, well, the uh, perks of- Oh my god, that's- Yeah. Come on the room straight ahead. I guess that's the tall guy. <laughs> no man, not that way. Yes, yes, a little more to the left. Follow the call of the turtles. <laughs> oh, not again. Why did they put the the guy with the two eye patches as the guy that's... Oh, man, honestly. 
It's known as the legs, but uh, the door seems closed. So you definitely can't go in that way. Uh, let's go check the left side. So there's the driver. Sorry, this is the engineer's lounge. Passengers are not allowed access. We can go in here. Oh, it's the bathroom. Can't do anything here. Right, so let's go to the bar then. Where did Joshua go? He just kind of disappeared. Uh... <laughs> so, hey, Trudy, if the ACP managed to make its portals work properly, do you think we can go back? Why are you bringing that up now? Well, I don't know. I thought it would have been uh, on your mind too. We've been trying to understand how it works for a long time. Yeah. To tell you the truth, I don't really care anymore. It was a long time ago. The best thing I can do now is just to stay here and move forward, don't you think? Yeah, yeah, but when push comes to shove, I don't know if I'm able to keep such a cool head. Well, I wouldn't stop you. Now my life is here. <laughs> well, all we can do now is uh, wait and act when Interpoc has information. Yeah, yeah. It's time to look at the present, which is the most comfortable thing to do. Okay, uh... Oh, I'm saying the same thing when I speak to you, so... What do I need to do now? It's gonna be one of them things where you just need to make sure you talk to the person the right place, but uh... Okay, and hurry up. Just make sure I'll speak to you again, that'll be bad. Maybe we'll go see if Samira is still... Oh? Look! Don't give me that, uh, now. Don't you realize that I don't want you to go around doing whatever you want? I'm doing you one last favor, so you're gonna do what I tell you to do. Oh, come on. I just wanna go to the bathroom. If you don't want me to go around by myself, then you should uh, come and watch me while I do my business. I'm not going to the bathroom with you. Ah, no? I thought you were into that stuff. What stuff are you talking about? Oh, Voltsy, you're on the train too. Oh, you heard us arguing. Pay no attention to anything he said. See, Voltsy, I told you that I'd take care of this. It's Interpoc's duty. Nook, remember you're still officially expelled from Interpoc. You simply have one more chance, and I've given it to you. He's been begging the higher-ups to listen to him. I was the only one who wanted to trust him once again. No one in the office wants him around anymore. I'm only doing this because I know you're good at finding the people we're looking for, and because you're my friend. F friend? I can't remember the last time someone called me a friend. Oh, that's kind of depressing, but... Boltsy, uh, Nook told me that you helped him get information to find the current whereabouts of the ACP. Uh, will we see if this leads anywhere? Right now, we're on our way to NASA. I'm sure we'll find some clues. Hey, and changing the subject, will you let me go to the bathroom for a moment or not? Fine, do what you want. Well, Voltsy, I'll see you later. Now, the ba bathroom's the other way, but are you sure the bathroom's that way? Anyway, Voltsy, I'm going to head back to my room. Right, okay. So... I'm going to go to the end here. Oh, Joshua's there. Oh, you're looking for the bathroom too. I thought it'd be around here, but I guess it's at the other end of the train. Hey, oh, you, you okay? What a drag. Now everything is quieting down, I can finally get out of that cramp box. What are you doing here? Since everything has gone quiet, I thought that uh, no one would be left. That's your friend, isn't it? I doubt it was you who hit, who did this. No, no, there were more people in here. Seems like he's unconscious. What a drag, man. Okay, Volti, I'll explain later. You have a room, don't you? The best thing we can do right now is go there. Should we take him with us? When I was trying to hide, I saw that they had security cameras here. So it was only a matter of time before they found me. However, if something is happening here, we can find out from the camera footage, can't we? So let's take him to your room and I'll explain there. Alright, sounds good. There's a mystery in the train. Wow, this room is huge. So you're more than your uh, battle skills. You also have money, huh? Your friend seems to be doing well. Well, as far as that goes. I'm sorry I suddenly came out of that box. I was hiding from some friends. I wasn't able to uh, talk to my uh, parents as Faye suggested. I didn't have enough courage. And MMC's uh, words gave me more confidence. So I didn't return to the swamp bar. I've decided to follow you, to learn from you by observing you. I want to know what your secret is. But, well, I'd forgotten that I had told my friends at the bar that I would uh, be back with money. I guess after not showing any signs of life for so long, they've come to look for me here. So I tried to sneak onto the train to throw them off, but they managed to get into a car somehow. I can't tell them that I disappeared for a while just because I got the urge to train Pokemon again. Even worse, I'd have to come back empty-handed. Especially now that less and less people are passing through the open, walks, uh, open work swamp. 
What am I going to say to their faces? Yado and Cooper may be fools, but uh, Jose Juanjo won't swallow any excuse. So I went on another venting session on you, didn't I? Yeah, it's okay. But for some reason, I've grown to trust you. Well, when I was in the box, I heard someone come in, and he mumbled something about the bathroom. Then someone else came in, and your friend Joshua, was it? Seemed to get into an argument with the person who came in. They didn't seem to get along. Then I heard some strange noises, and after a few knocks, everything went silent. I waited for a while, and when I came out of the box, you were there. I guess it wasn't you, was it? <laughs> so, look, here's the deal. You find someone who will uh, let us look at the security cameras? When I boarded, I saw a couple of Interpoc agents. Who was there when we met in Aluren Forest? Talk to them, I'll stay here and take care of this one. Plus, I can stay hidden in this room while I'm at it. It's a win-win, as they say. Come on, I'll take care of this one. Mm, ham sandwich. Oh. <laughs> right, so let's go towards the bathroom. Be better if I first met to see Latus and Nook. Oh, okay. Right, so what room are they in? Probably six, because five was the, um... The gym guy. You're finally here, man. Ah, it's just you, Volti. I thought you were Nook. What the hell is he doing? There's still no sign of him. Oh, I bet it's not Nook. I bet it's, um... The... The Kecleon guy. You tell Latus what happened. What? You saw Nook come out of the cargo hold and you found your friend lying there on the floor? What the hell is going on? Okay, I'm on my way to the security room. I need to know where Nook went. Oh, it's 100% going to be the Kecleon dude. Disguised as, uh... Disguised as Nook. Nope. I think I had more than 40 beers! Whee! I think I have to expel them out of me. Someone point me to the bathroom, quick. Sir, please, you're making too much noise. Paolo, have you seen Nook come through here? Uh, yes, she went with Trudy to the bathroom. They went straight ahead. Oh, you're always the same. Damn, 40 beers and you're still up? That's quite impressive. But how there's an upstairs bar. Someone get me there now. I know this train is holding out on me. <laughs> Mr. Paolo, please behave yourself. <laughs> Alright, to the bathroom. Uh, can we go in here yet? Oh, we can go in here. I'm not a suspect. Uh-huh. <laughs> Alright, oh. Excuse me, I'm an Interpoc agent. You're in charge of the security cameras, right? I, well, no, I don't know where the person who's in charge is right now. But I guess you could say I'm in charge. Perfect, if you don't mind, I'll need to take a look at them. Alright, Voltsy, we're in. You said something happened in the cargo hold, didn't you? Let's see. Should be this camera. Hey, this isn't the bathroom, right? No, I was looking for them too. Hey, wait, you're that guy. Hey, what do you mean, guy? Don't you have any manners? Yeah, I do. I have street manners. Great, I'm dealing with an idiot. Look, I already apologized to Volta, you understand? I'm trying to fix things. <laughs> Alright, but if you put my friend in danger again, we'll have a problem. Oh. The portal. <sighs> ah, what a nuisance. You're here too? Hey, is that guy with the cool suit? What the hell are you doing here? Huh, who's this? Are you also looking for the bathroom? Well, well, well. Sorry to interrupt your little chap, but we have some more important things to do. Oh, what the hell are you doing? Who are you? Don't you remember me? Ah, ah you're the guy who knocked me out. The very uh, same, my dear friend Nook. Uh, Frisio, where are you? Uh oh. Oops, sorry I'm late. Had to show off my new suit. How'd you like it, Inspector Boy? Well, it seems like the ACP doesn't check if their members are stable before recruiting them, don't they? You look like my Aunt Marissa. Oh, I kind of like his Hooper themed a little bit, but uh, ordinary people like you would never understand the meaning and beauty of the new Hooper suit. Yeah, it's Hooper suit. I was going to say it looked like Hooper. With this new technology, I can create portals wherever I want and to wherever I want. Well, you're coming with us now. You know too much. Uh, Keroro? Arrest him. Wait, what? Ooh, boom, looks like I win. Alright, now get him to the portal. Wonderful. Now it's my turn to leave. You know what to do, don't you? Yes, yes. Don't need to remind me. After all, this is my plan. Our plan. Yes, yes, anyway, whatever you say. Perfect. Come on, come on. Get out of here before they see us. Oh. Nook was taken. Then, the Nook on the train is an imposter. 
I guess he'd want to lay low for a while so we could fool everyone uh, when we got to NASA. Then he was right. Nook was right. The clue we need to find the whereabouts of the ACP is there. Paulo said he saw Nook go into the bathroom, didn't he? I have to go there immediately. We have to catch him before he realizes something is wrong and escape from the train. Alright. Uh, so, Voltsy, I think we have company. That's your father, right? See if you can talk to him. He doesn't seem to want to listen to reason. Trudy, what are you doing there? Is anyone inside? Let's go! Hurry up! If you want to use the can, get in line. Now hurry up, or I'll kick the door down. Trudy, are you drunk again? You and Paula are a match made in heaven. You need to get to the in that bathroom now. It's possible that an ACP member is in there. Just a minute, I'm busy. How am I supposed to do my business with all this yelling? How is it possible that I've already been caught? I haven't even had time to say a word yet. But now what do I do? Oh, Christ, can you hear me? What is it now, uh, Karo? What, what, do you, what did you do? Quiet down, I'm in the bathroom. What have I told you about calling me when you're in the bathroom? It's not like I'm not that kind of doctor. I don't know how to treat your gastric problems. It's not that. My stomach is fine. I've been caught. I've been caught. I need you to come and get me. Huh, your plan didn't last long. I told you that a bomb was the best solution. Let's see. I'll open a portal and get you out. That's it. I'm breaking this door down. Faulty. Watch and see how strong your dad is. Here I come. One, two, three. Oh. I thought Paul was going to open and our dad was going to like fall for it, but ah. Couldn't you wait? Why don't you bother the people next door? What is taking you so long? Nook, move aside. Now! Wait, wait, I'll leave right now. Just want to use the bathroom, I'll go. Now, too many people in there. I can't get through. I'll stand guard at the entrance. Wait, what? What's going on? Uh, I, uh... See, get over here now. You're finally here. Sorry, I was in the bathroom too. Hey, I was first. If you want to use the bathroom, uh, you need to stand in line like normal people. Wait a minute, is that a portal? Ah, it's Trudy again. And the demon he called a son. The ACP is trying to steal my bathroom. <laughs> no, no, wait. If we leave now, go get them, Voltsy. I can't hold it much longer. It's time to show them who's boss. Damn it. <laughs> get ready to run. Ah, come on. Let's, let's go get them. Wait, are we fight with our dad? Nope, it's just us first. I gotta say that the Hooper outfit looks sick. Oh no, we are fighting with our dad, nice. It'd be really funny if like he attacks us because he's just drunk and can't like focus. But we'll see. Body slam, good damage. Uh let's go accordion. Let's go for hyper voice. I don't know that Starmie's going for a nasty plot. Oh it's Zorog, okay. It's fine. Nice! We outspeed the Behem, so that's all good. Okay, oh, full restore? You suck. Oh, it does not do much. That does. Finish it off. Come on, Snorlax, attack the right opponent. Never mind. I feel like, oh, you got Cordion as well. If we go for double hyper boys, that'd be kind of sick. Oh, you got Snarl. I can take out the Kecklin, I think. Nice. Angry Prom's gonna keep on hyper voicing. I'm a little bit scared of the PM, I'll be honest, but. Oh, that sucks. Whew. Uh, let's go into Ledian. I think I have some bullet punch to the PM. Nice, good job. Any more? Starmie and Garbador. We will thunder punch the Starmie. No, that was a lot of damage. We good, we good. Let in an absolute monster, man. Uh, I guess bullet punch because I think the fairy, yeah. Nice. Good job. Hey, our Goomy's evolving the Slagoo. Now I've got to find out how to evolve the Slagoo into Gudra. Hopefully it just levels, but you never know. Goomy into Slagoo. Oh, very urgent. Oh, okay. 
I don't even know why we tried. Uh, hope you have another plan. Of course. Now it's time to play by my rules. Everybody freeze. I have a bomb vest and I won't hesitate to use it. If you come after us, I'll activate it. Isn't it a bit of cliche to use bombs on a train? I've seen you do more original things. Yeah, but it works. Plus it's fun. <laughs> Be careful, Voltsy. <laughs> Stay away. You better let them go. I see you again in the picture. We'll even. Uh, yeah, it's time to go. Well, well, they're gone. Guess there was uh, nothing we could do, right? Now, on to a more important problem. Yeah, we should probably leave. Hey, how's it going in there? What happened? So, after explaining what happened inside? Oh, they got away? The two, it's easy. We'll find them, we just have to follow the clue that Nook had. That's the problem. That idiot wouldn't tell me what he knew. No, because he wanted to be a hero in front of everyone. Now what do I do? Go to NASA and start asking everyone and expecting everything? I mean, so start, but why didn't that idiot just tell tell someone what he knew? Yeah, about that. It appears the email belongs to a gentleman named Roberto Wido. Appears to be a NASA scientist. Don't know what his relationship with Stain might be, but it is certainly the only proof I have. Yeah, another job well done from the amazing Nook. Okay. Oh wait, what, Voltsy? Nook told you who he was looking for? Wait, what? Hang on. How'd you even, uh, how'd you know about that if they didn't even say anything yet? Bro. <laughs> He's my son. I know everything about him. Voltsy, what was Nook looking for? Need that clue to find him and the ACP. Since there was a man named Roberto Wido who seems to have some link with Stain. That's it. And that was the only clue he had. Did he really cause this whole mess just because of a hunch? Nook really is an idiot. However, the fact that the ACP came after him, I think he might have accidentally hit the nail on the head with that. We're really lucky that ACP did not know uh, that Nook had told you about this. Well, as soon as we get to uh, Temptation Town, I'll, I'll, I'll head to NASA to ask about this Roberto Wido. Since Paolo is on the train, I'll get him to contact Kaida and uh, get us access to NASA. Treaty, I'm counting you to help me with this. I sure could use it. Uh, sure could use you. Well, first, I'll have to take care of a couple of battles. As soon as we finish, I'll go to NASA. Okay, then I'll go ahead. Oh, ugh, so hungry, man. I think I'm over my headache. Well, well, I see you're waking up. You've been unconscious for quite some time. Ah, I was actually thinking with my eyes closed. Hey, who almost ran me over. What's wrong with you? Ah, nothing, Miss Thief. Hey, do you have a problem? No, no, calm down. I just want to thank you. Huh? Yeah, I heard you and Voltsy talking. I know you stayed here and took care of me in the meantime. What? Oh, you're welcome, I guess. It's not like I did it for you, alright? I only did it so I could crash in this room. Ah, well, I don't care. I just wanted to thank you. By the way, I don't understand why you're so conflicted. What do you mean? Wait, were you listening? Of course, didn't I tell you I was listening with my eyes closed? Hey, I just thought you were trying to be cool. Anyway, I don't want, I don't want you meddling in my affairs. I don't care if you don't want me to, I just want to help a little. So, your friends have come looking for you and you're hiding from them. Didn't I tell you? I don't get you, really. They're your friends. Go see them. They've come, it's because they're worried about you. Come on, just go. Well, but but you don't understand. I promised them I would come back with money to help the bar. But in the end, I end up what I always do. Doing whatever I want with no regard to who I hurt. I guess Faye's right. At the end of the day, I just end up doing whatever without worrying about how it affects me or how it affects others. Well, that's not all bad either. What do you mean? Well, it's okay to find your own way and to do what you want. Although you have to keep others in mind when doing something that might affect them. Like, if you feel like being a trainer and traveling around the region, just let your friends know. But I can't do that. It would be like leaving them leaving them out. Well, they are your friends, aren't they? They surely understand. People who appreciate, appreciate you like to see you progress and make your own decisions. Well, at least like I like how I wanted to see Volty become a great trainer or see my brother as a member of the, le of the league. Although I'd be lying if I said I it doesn't make me a little angry when I see that I can't keep up with them. Yeah, but I always make bad decisions. Well, so what? Look, I'm not very smart, you know? Never made very good decisions. After all, it worked for him. But I've been thinking about it. Maybe the goal I set just aren't a good fit for me. Perhaps I've simply been following the steps suggested to me by the people around me. I think you're afraid of making more bad decisions, or of disappointing someone. I can, I can kind of relate to that but I guess people who expect something from us also expect us to make mistakes. If you want to be a good trainer, go ahead. You may even be able to help those around you with what you earn. Joshua, I think you're right. 
I'm afraid to make my own decisions because I don't know how to deal with my own messes. I guess I should try to talk to the people I care about. After all, they also care about my actions and my mistakes. Thank you, Joshua. You're welcome, woman. That's what we're here for. Hey, what do you mean, woman? Uh, it's not that- it's not like I'm old. I don't know, I normally say, you're welcome, man, and well, with you I'll say, you're welcome, woman. Attention, we've reached our destination. We ask you- we ask you to calmly exit the train. We hope you have a good trip. Anyway, I'm gonna see them. I'll go out first and see if I can find them at the exit. Go ahead, you got this. And don't back out. Okay. <laughs> well, we couldn't find her. The spirit of the turtles wasn't with us. It's a sad story for Team Swamp. I guess our search was in vain. So strange, what happened to her? She just keeps avoiding us for some reason? I hope she's well. Ah, screw it. I'll take care of the barber myself. My knives can't wait to cut fresh meat. Yellow, we make tortillas. We do not commit murder. We eat children. On top of going crazy, now he's deaf too. Alright, let's go outside. This is our last chance to find her. Otherwise, I'll make offerings to the king of the river. I'm sure I'll help us manage the situation. Oh. Right. Let's head out. We might run into them. Uh, Voltsy, come and sing with me. I just love riding this train. We have to ride it again on the way back. So, Voltsy, we've arrived. We're just going to take advantage of our last few minutes. <laughs> yeah, you do that. All right. Oh. Uh, Joshua, right? Are you okay? Voltsy, tell me about what happened to you. Don't worry, man, I'm fine. I'm, I'm glad. I'm sorry I wasn't keeping an eye on what was happening on the train. It's fine. I'm perfectly fine. Man, Volty, you're finally out. Your father's still inside, isn't he? They sure fell into that midlife crisis trap. Yep. Uh, well, let's hope they come out soon. I can't wait for Paolo much longer. There's one of them, and there's the other one. Well, kids, we're off. It's time for our battle. Well, it's a good thing you two are finally ready. Polo, let's head to NASA. We're in a hurry. Haha, <laughs> perfect. Of course, but first I need to use the bathroom. NASA has bathrooms there. Anyway guys, at Treaty, thanks for your help. We'll be in touch later. Okay then, well, I think we have some unfinished business to attend to. Shall we head for the gym? If you follow Route 14, you'll arrive at Temptation Town. That's where I work. Well, I think I'm going to do some training first. I'm going to kick your ass, so I want to do it right, you know? <laughs> Very well, I'll be waiting for you both there. Sounds good. Well, Voltsy, you're going to go after your father, right? Damn, we're really close to having all eight badges. We're a long way from home, don't you think? After this, we should go back home and see everyone. Well, I'll be on my way. See ya. Right, so we have Route 14 to go through first, and then we'll be at Temptation Town. Oh, wow. Samira, we've been looking for you everywhere. You have these fools worried. Yeah, I know, I got a little bit confused. I was going to come back with some money, but first I lost it. Then I spent it. Well, but that's just the usual. Don't worry, I already worked out the rent issue with Al Capone. <laughs> We're all good. We won't fail. Samira, my turtle tortillas are perfect. I need your money to get rich. Yeah, well... Why didn't you come back anyway? Something's up, isn't it? Look, I've been training my Pokemon a bit lately, and I was having a good time. I found someone who reminded me of when we used to uh, fight with Emanesia, Faye, and Dogen. And it made me feel nostalgic, so I set out to try and beat them. I wanted to do what I like and uh, try to go far with it. But I didn't know how to tell you that I had left you aside for that. So you got the same itch as my sister. I'm sure you'll also be able to make it big. Ha! <laughs> so that's all it was? Then don't be a dunce and just tell us next time. Aren't you annoyed? What? No way! I'm glad you told us. At least now you'll stop being so weird about it. Hey! So who do you think you are to say that? Samira, I don't care what you do, but you're going to have to compensate us for all this trouble. Fine, fine, I'll buy you something. Huh? Faultsy? Hey, it's you. Yeah, if you can't see, how do you know who it is? I can smell him. Wait, do you know him? We tried to steal all their money, but all we got in return was an, a kick in the ass. Yeah, we've crossed paths before. So you're in a temptation town, right? We'll stay here until we catch the next train back, I guess. Wait, we have money to ride, ride the train now? I've robbed a couple of rich people on the way out without them noticing. Fultzy have decided to uh, try and face the Quintilis Gym Challenge. I like being a trainer and maybe it'll help me get rid of my gambling addiction. I want to fight you first though, uh, just so you know who your strongest rival is. Uh, you're going to accept, you have no other choice. Here we go, Ah, oh, dude I think I got healed up. Oh this is bad. This is very bad if I'm not fully healed. I think I am fully healed? Yeah okay. 
Right, so we'll start things off with switching out. Right, yeah, Mega, we can deal with the return of the flamethrower. Glad you did not flinch me, but oh, full restore, that's fine. You want to waste your full restores now? That's perfect. Have a full restore, come on, give me a crit or burn. Hey, let's go. I roll, baby, I'll take it. Nice. Cramorant. We will go Cosmo Amanda and then we'll go Thunderbolt. No, we won't. Cramorant. I thought, I, I legit thought I said Crawdon. And I was like, oh, okay. I mean, it's, it's fine. Ice Beam still works. Man, I swear that's a Crawdon. Oh, Flygon, okay. Ice Beam. Oh, sorry, Ice Beam, yeah. Flygon's doing nothing to me. Okay, and Weavile, uh... Should I? I'll go Spiritomb. It's a little bit dangerous because of Dark Typing, but Flamethrower would be nice. Never mind. Before I can just live one attack of Flamethrower, do some decent damage. We'll go Levian and we'll, I guess, Bullet Punch? I haven't got Comet Punch anymore. Ooh, that's fine. We just live the poison. I was kind of lucky. Can I switch out before the poison kills me? I don't think I can. Nah. Ah, oh, can you imagine? Run pig. Let's just switch out again. Oh no, the Wub effect. You still have it. Right. I'm going for Perish Song first. Just in case you want to be a pain in the butt. Okay. And we'll go Hyper Voice. I mean, critical hit, good damage. Alright, next hyper voice. I can take you out here, that'd be sick. Oh, Destiny Bond. Okay, we're both gonna die. Oh no, it doesn't fix it's your ghost type. Hey! Okay, let's switch. Here we will go, Thunderbolt. Nice. And then Wobbuffet we'll coming back out. Ooh, okay, okay. Uh, I'm gonna just die anyway, it's fine. I can go back on the train, I think, and maybe get healed up. Maybe there's someone else that can heal me up. I don't know, but you've really got beat. Yeah, you really got destroyed. Hey, could you guys actually try to cheer me up? Anyway, I have to train more. I think we'll head into Temptation Town and walk around until the train has to leave. Hey, your friend Joshua was on his way there too, wasn't he? I want to talk to him about something. Well, Voltsy, see ya. Don't even think of losing. I want to see you in the league. Okay. This place is so beautiful. Seeing how the water changes color on the Monetary Express is impressive. It's pretty that the uh, dirty poor miss out on such beautiful views. <laughs> All right. Uh, what have we got in here? So some NASA scientists came to this area to investigate the behavior of the coughing. With Professor Stain's accident years ago, this whole area was invaded by portals and got totally modified. The new vegetation affected some Pokemon in the area and totally changed the flora and fauna. It's an exciting fact, my partner is near the beach studying the coffins. It seems that they have a, a behavior similar to that of quantum particles. Maybe you can observe them live and direct. Maybe I will. But we'll do that next time. So, thank you guys for watching. At next episode, we'll make our way to Temptation Town. And uh, maybe take on our dad to get the 8th gym badge. So I'll catch you guys then. Have a great day. Peace.